anything but with Kumari Sulvais once again at the Ayarangani Sera Singh residence at Epita Mulla Road in Pitakote. And we're bringing this book to life as I told you. We now talk to her, we continue chapter 6, we talk to Ayarangani Sera Singh, um, the corporate executive and the tour guide. So, she's done incredible things in her life. <laughs> <laughs> So after the times of Ceylon, you landed in this job at Macwoods Estates and Agencies. Yes. It's all about running estates. Yes, yes. Um, this is terribly, terribly... Um, what should I say? It's challenging? Challenging, yes, Board. because I knew nothing about running estates. I wasn't interested at all in business. Or so why did you go there then? Because that was the only place that was there for me. Okay. I, bought, I needed a job better. Okay. And a friend of mine was there and he put me there and he, he said, no, this is what you have to do. And I must say I'm very glad I went there because I learned another aspect of life. Of, uh, what did you learn in this job at Macwoods Estates and Agencies Limited? Well, I learned what uh, the difficulties that you had in buying and selling certain things okay. and how one should try to buy and sell certain things. And grow certain things and you know all of them. What grows what and what does not grow also. grow also, yes. So they had estates with kitul trees and you thought that uh, you could turn it around and use the existing trees for a kitul business or Yes, whatever. actually in that time in Sri Lanka we were trying to find money mm. for, for the country mm. and uh, try to sell what we can. And I thought, well, why not kitul? Okay. Kitul jaggery. Yes. Um, and I had met foreigners and they, and they when they uh, tasted kitul, they, they thought it was, you know, something very nice. So I thought there will be a foreign market for kitul. So you made a feasibility report, I believe? Yes, yes, because um, this Macwoods Estates had estates yes. where, where one could grow kitul. kitul. Uh, and then the villagers were there and they would also be employed doing a uh, thing. So I made a report on right. that, yes. And then came passion fruit. And then came passion fruit also, yes. 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 How did that work? Uh, so did this work? This, this I project? Don't, I don't think the Ketur project worked. I, I think it just kind of worked on its own. I don't think... Uh, I can't say that we did uh, big business. So did you visit the estates and go and talk to the, the, the not laborers, but the staff working there? And uh, was that part of your job as well? Uh, yeah, I, I did go and talk to people. And although I was also in the village and I... You had that background? Yes, the, I had yes. the background. And we also used to cook the kitul. Yes, you know? yes, yes. So anyway, I went and spoke to them and about the difficulties of... Uh, Kitul Pani and all of that. And then she moved again. Then came NSO Mendis, a very big businessman, who put into tourism. He just walked, he just bought walkers tours. And there you are, the tour guide girl. Yes. Now that, that was adventure, right? Yeah. And uh, actually, I went there not as a tour guide first. Sorry. <laughs> I said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I was you know, asked to be, uh, coordinate write with, the, with the groups. Groups, yes, and to uh, give my ideas on what I okay. uh, should do. And, but in the end, I became a tour guide because that was a, we were short of guides then, right. and you know. And you had uh, Nikaman and Ryzen from Germany, and yeah. that other Swedish name? Cherubal. Yes. So you took them around? Yeah, I took them around. And I was very happy to do that because I got to know people people from other countries and of course I was so confirmed in my view that all human beings are the same. You may talk a different language, you may have a different colored skin or whatever but we are the same, basically we are the same. Uh, that was, I was absolutely confirmed about that idea. Um, and it was also very interesting to know what they wanted to see in our country. What did they want to see in our country at that time? I think mostly the wilderness. Not Colombo buildings? No, not Colombo and the buildings. And the Colombo and the buildings were just 
horrible then. You know, it just wasn't. Nobody had taken in. I was to be ashamed, really, to say that this is our capital city. It was just not. So when you took these busloads out to the villagers and people came, and those simple, poor village people did this, then yes. you were embarrassed. Yes, then I was embarrassed. Actually, what embarrassed me greatly was one day, uh, we saw people in the fields, paddy fields, they were transplanting uh, paddy. And that was such a beautiful kind of balletic movement, you know, that they said, look, 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 and they were very excited. So I told the driver, please stop. Okay. And then we watched these women and it really was a balletic movement, you know, this kind of the arm going out like that. Mm -hmm and taking the stuff and back again yes. and the blood and we and they were doing that and watching this and I said okay now that's enough and then suddenly they did this and did this you know okay. because they thought these are tourists and they will have to pay for what yes. you know so I felt very embarrassed because it spoiled the whole thing you know for, for me anyway and you said and, something uh, right? yeah I said I mean pa they said, then they told me, oh, that's all very well for you, but we also have got to live. I understood what they meant and what they said and what they felt, I understood. But still for all that, this was kind of spoiled the beauty of that thing, you know, so for me. Mm, so you... You met a lot of people from different countries. Yes. In yes. this job, and that broadened horizons. Uh, bro broadened when you say I was so surprised when I went to Candy. I can't remember the name of the hotel outside Candy. What to the name of the hotel? These names don't stick in my head. And uh, there was a water. There was a huge pool, and there was a. Uh, something across it and we could walk along that and go to the other side. And when I was on that on that uh, band, uh, there was another lady and I found that she was crying. So I, I asked, why why are you crying? What is it you want? Can I do it? Can I help you? She said, no, 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 no. I said, please tell me, I'll let, try to help you in what way. And she said, I'm Jewish. So I said, so what? So what? So what? He said, they don't like the Jews. The Jews are hmm. out as far as they're concerned. And then she, then I spoke to her a little bit more about the subject. And she said, oh, how unhappy they are, really unhappy. Because of the, the attitude the others have for the Jews. And I really felt so bad. I didn't know what, what am I to do there. Yeah, what could you say? What could I say? Uh, so anyway, I said, please don't cry, we'll try to, uh, there's nothing that I can do about that. Uh, then, but I did meet another another lady who was not a Jewish. And uh, I just said, in your country, that is in America, I said, are people uh, against the Jews? Uh, do, do they not like the Jews and do they, you know, then she said, oh, well, and then she told me about what their mm -hmm. attitude towards the Jews were and what they think the Jews are like and so on. So anyway. But to you, everybody is equal. For me, everybody is equal. A human being is a human being. And I have the same feeling about animals. Although we call them, they are animals, they are just animals. They are also, we are also an animal. Exactly. Yes, we are, we are also an animal, and they also have feelings and like we do. And so that we should treat animals also just as we treat human beings, with kindness and love and compassion. So, chapter 6 in Irangani closes like this. After Walker's tours, I stopped work for some time to spend time with my two growing children. But I went for lectures to the junior university college where I worked again for about a year. End of uh, chapter 6, end of sequence X. We meet it again in the next sequence. 
all about her life and work in cinema. 60 plus plus years. Ayurangani, Nidhaniya, Sera Singer in cinema. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the Pulse of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To catch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living.